So uh, a lot of people say, so what, is a, what, is, what does a fast network card do? I already have a fast connection. Well, you might, you might say you have a fast connection. It might be measured in 300 megabits per second or something like that. But the, what that really is, is it's a fat connection. It's, a, it's a, able to do very many big buckets of data in a small amount of time, but it's not very latency sensitive. You might have a gigabit network at home, but how fast is that data actually getting across that network? Well, we're actually going to show you here with a real live demonstration. Now, what we've set up here is a, is a program called GAIN. It's uh, short for Gaming Network Efficiency. Uh, our program is, yeah, Gaming Network Efficiency. And what that does is it, it allows you to connect two network cards on the same computer to a network and send, have those network cards send packets across the gigabit network to a, third, uh, to a second machine that's receiving that data. And that, that second machine actually measures the amount of time that it took for that data to travel across the network from both network cards. We have a standard NIC. In this case, it's a, uh, it's a Broadcom Gigabit Ethernet that comes standard on the Alienware motherboards. Now, if you'll take a quick look at these machines, you'll see that these are not standard $400 Best Buy specials. These are top-of-the-line Alienware systems. And you'll be able to see that when we run the uh, Resident Evil benchmark over here. It peaks up at around 100 frame, 105 frames per second. So they're non-trivially fire-breathing machines. We'll be able to see what happens when you're actually running other tax, tasks or other games on your uh, when you're running games on your system. What is actually happening to your data? So the first thing I'm going to show you here, if you can look up at the, at the uh, console window right here, we're going to measure the ping as measured by the ping command in Windows across this network. And as we can see here, it is zero milliseconds. It's really fast, or at least that's what Windows tells you. Now, a few few interesting things about ping. Ping is an ICMP command. That's a different kind of internet network protocol. That uh, it's a low-level messaging protocol that measures just essentially a few of those things. So it's not actually uh, the kind of traffic that's offloaded by um, a killer 2100 network card. So just installing this card and running this command won't actually change that number significantly. What is interesting to know, though, is that the ping that is measured in a game, say you're playing Counter-Strike or World of Warcraft or uh, any number of other online shooters, when you see a ping number, it's not actually the kind of ping, it's not actually the kind of traffic that, it, that your game is running. It's using the Windows ping command, it might be looking at frame rate, it might be looking at any variety of actual things, but it's actually not measuring the actual latency. So what we're going to see here is, when we're going to run the game, we're going to see how, how variable and how severe your latency spikes can get, and how rock solid the Killer 2100 is at delivering data. And John over there will run the uh, transmitting side of the, uh, of the uh, benchmark in just a second, and he will let me know when I can press OK, and then you'll be able to see a moving graph here, which will show our ping numbers. And I've probably got my colors messed up. Okay, so you'll see here that the red line on the monitor is the uh, UDP ping time for adapter number one. Adapter number one is the Killer 2100 there. The uh, ping time in black is the ping time for the standard NIC. And you'll see that we're spiking up at around 10.69, 11 milliseconds or something like that. But wait a minute. <laughs> we're running 125 frames per second over here. I thought we had less than zero milliseconds ping. Well, what we're seeing here is that when Windows is busy, when your processor is busy, when your memory is busy, when your graphics card is busy, running a game or running a game engine, you can actually go over and see on the uh, on the transmitting PC that we're running the Resident Evil 5 benchmark, that when it's busy, it doesn't have time to answer the phone, nor does it have time to pick up the phone and get that data to you. This is very important. Oh, and also another very important thing is this red line down here, around 220 microseconds. That's the standard ping from the Killer Nick, from the Killer 2100. We're delivering it at orders of magnitude faster than the uh, than the 11 than the 11 millisecond average that we see up there on the uh, on the standard Nick. Now, 
uh, what we found is that even if you're connected to a LAN, the Killer 2100 can offer a significant benefit, right? We just saw that our standard ping should be zero milliseconds, but it's actually not. So after our test is complete, we see that the average time for the killer is 246 microseconds, while the average time for the um, for the Broadcom is about 7 milliseconds. However, if you take the worst 10% of those figures, I'm sorry, if you take the worst 10% of those figures, you get 360 microseconds on the uh, Killer 2100 and a 27 millisecond ping on the uh, on the standard NIC. Now, if if you're looking at 27 milliseconds in a lot of games, that's that's four frames. That's easily four frames. And you can talk to any pro gamer, you can talk to any religious gamer, and they'll say four frames is a lifetime, especially when it comes to a kill, or casting a spell on a battleground, or getting getting the right move at the right minute. Um, and then finally, we uh, our averages show that we're 28.2 times faster than an onboard nick. And we're 100. And, we have 124 times less jitter. In other words, not only is the standard nick a lot slower, we can't predict when it's going to be slow and when it's going to be fast. Its total ping times are all over the map, and that's death to a uh, and that's death to a game. So, with that in mind, and with a reminder, if I have anything else to cover. <laughs> I, will, I will take any questions. I will I'll take the worst questions and first. Have, and we have coffee. And we have coffee and pastries. Uh, what type of processing do you do on board? So we have a uh, we have a purpose-built network processing unit that is designed to uh, identify game traffic, UDP game traffic at the wire, and route that through the hardware uh, around the Windows network stack and offload that traffic also from the CPU around the Windows network stack and get it straight to your game. So that's the, that's, in its purest sense, that's what we're built to do. We're designed to accelerate game traffic. However, a few of these things, like the visual bandwidth control rules that you saw there, those are encoded, those are sent from the software bound to the hardware on the driver. And there are uh, a variety of other classification activities that take place down on the hardware. Um, Without getting into too much detail, we are, we are tuned highly for, for performance. So even if the card did uh, nothing else but accelerate game traffic, all of the rest of the features are, are an offshoot of that kind of, uh, of that kind of performance. So are there any other questions? What's your list price and availability? I'm sorry? List price and availability? It is available now uh, on Newegg.com. Uh, I'm sorry, it's available in many places, and uh, our list price is $120. And that's what it looks like. If you guys want to, uh, I'll leave this on the table so you can take better product photos without my gross hand in it. If you don't mind, I don't Did it take standards and PCI? It's PCIe. Okay, you want an PCIe slot.